Praise God. Good morning to everyone. It is uh, my privilege and thank God that God is using me for today. And happy anniversary, our family. 24th anniversary. We are very thankful and glad because we reached 24 year for RBC. Let us pray. Our gracious Father in heaven, to whom can we go if we not you without? We stand, O Lord God, if not on the power of your promises of your words. Father, we pray this morning as the message goes forth that the Holy Spirit will come and continue with us, that your Holy Spirit surround us, that the power of high will reach out in the heart and lives of those who are watching and those who are listening, and that we will know that whatever may stay, we can take it to the Lord. Now, empower this message, Lord. Strengthen, and I pray, my mind and my heart. I desire one thing, and that is to give you the glory and honor. Jesus, you are the mighty, and you are the one who will be praised. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So my topic is about the role of faith. And let us read in John 6, 28, 29. It says here that, Then they said unto him, What shall we do, that we might work the work of God? In verse 9, Jesus answered and said, said unto them, This is the work of God, that you believe in him whom he had sent. Praise the Lord. My topic on the verse 29 about the works. Whenever we think of the word work, it brings to mind some activities that we have to do. As a good Christian, we want to do work for the Lord. And indeed, we are called to do His work. We desire to be good and faithful servant, workmen who will not be ashamed when we stand before him. Indeed, the Bible tells us that we are created in Christ Jesus to do good works. Which God has already prepared for us. And yet, Jesus presents a very different perspective of works when the cross asks, what must we do to do the works of work of God? Believe on me was the straight to the point answer. Believe in him when he has sent, and unbelief believe on, on Christ as a substitute who died to pay the price of our sin. As a believer, we have to continue to believe on Christ. We are to have we have faith in him. We have to trust the written words of God, to trust or believe the word of God was made flesh. First of all, is what is faith? Faith means to believe from the persuasion, assurance, firm conviction, faithfulness means confidence in what we hope for and the assurance that Lord is working even though we cannot see. Faith know that no matter what the situation in our lives, someone else that the Lord is working on it. And we will go also faith to what does it means to believe in Jesus. This is God's question for today. The word believe means to agree with a statement you cannot prove wrong. We think it means intellectually agree with something. This is what the words believe. In the Bible, I set an example to believe. 
in John 20 uh, verse 24 up to 29. I take this uh, example for uh, the appearance of Jesus to Thomas. It says here in verse 24, in John 20 verse 24, but Thomas as of the twelve called Demos was not with them when Jesus came. Then the other disciples before said unto him, we have the seen that the Lord, but he had said unto them, Except I shall see in his hands the print of the nails, and put my finger into the print of the nails, and trust, trust my hand into his side, and I will not believe. And 26 says, And after the eight days again, his disciples were in the Thomas with them. Then came Jesus to the door, being shut and stood in the midst and said peace be unto you and he said to thomas reach the the hither thy finger and behold my hands and reach hither the earth uh, it into my side and be not a faithless but believing in 28 says and thomas answered to said unto him my Lord, my Lord, my God. Jesus said unto him, Thomas, because thou hast sent me, thou hast believed, blessed are those that have not seen and yet have believed. Amen. So, uh, Jesus proved that even at, uh, Thomas, that you have to prove it out, that you have uh, seen it, that the nails put inside and show that they will believe that that is Jesus himself. So uh, the second uh, sample is in Bible James 2 19 you believe that God is one you do well they must also believe and shattered the word believe translates to Jesus literally means to run to him, to trust him, to yield to him, to obey him. That means that also in John, uh, John 6, 20, 29 says, Jesus responds to them by saying, this is the work of God that you run to trust and yield to and obey him whom he has sent. The point is, if you truly believe in Jesus, your belief will evidence on it. So how? Obedience and endurance. Obedience. In John 3, in John 3, 36, he who believes in the Son has eternal life, but he has, though not obey the Son, will not see the life, but the wrath of God ab abides him. In 1 John 2, 3, 6, by this he knows that we have come to know him. If we keep him co his command, yes. the one who says, I have come to know him, and does not keep his commandment, is a liar. And the truth is not him, but whoever keeps his words in him, the love of God has truly been perfected by him. We know that we are in him. One who says he abides in him owes himself the work, to work in him the same manner in he who walk. In Hebrews 3, 18 or 4 to 2, and, he, and to whom that they walk in enter his rest, but those who were obedient. So we see that they were not able to enter because of unbelief. Therefore, let us fear. If one promise remains on entering his rest, and any one of you seems to have come short of it, for indeed we have had a good news preached to us, just they also but the word they heard did not profit to them. Because it was not 
united by faith in those who heard her, those who heard. So is an endure, endurance or perseverance also one of the requirements in Luke 18. In Luke 18, those on the rock soil. Rocky soil, rock soil represent your heart. And those who went to hear receive the word with joy, and this have no fear, wrote that believe for them. For a while, in the time of temptation, for full away. In Hebrews 3, 12, 14, take care, brethren, that there will be no one of you an evil, unbelieving heart that falls away from the living and God, but encouraging one another, day after day, as long as it is still cold. Today, so that none of you will be hardened by the deceitfulness of sin, for we have become a partaker of Christ, if we are assurance firm until the end. And Jesus, some both of those up in John 8:31. So Jesus was saying to those Jews who had believed in him, if you continue my word, then you are truly my disciple of mine. So God requires you and be completely in and totally yield your life to Jesus. He is not asking for your good works. He is not asking for your church attendance. He is not asking for Bible knowledge. But God wants us to believe, to have faith to Him, to run to Him, to trust to Him, to yield to Him and obey Him. As Jesus is what the, He expects for us and you. In Romans 10.9, this is the conclusion that if you confess your mouth with mouth with mouth Jesus and Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead and you will be saved. Amen. 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 Amen.